News 13's Francesca Washington is here to share his story. Mike Ross tells us his son is young and in good health, but tonight he's in the ICU and to make matters worse, he's also alone because no one is allowed to visit. If, if I can get Billy, I can get anybody. 29 year old Billy Ross. He's in the ICU fighting for his life right now. After being diagnosed with coronavirus. And he went to the emergency room the next day. Uh, they, they admitted him that day. The next day he was in ICU and the day after that they put him on a, a ventilator. And the Albuquerque native now lives and works in Denver. His family is still here in New Mexico. As a dad, it's miserable for me. I, I would give anything to be by his side right now and be there with him. His dad, Mike Ross, says about a week ago, his son called him not feeling well. He was in a horrible fever. He had horrible sweats. He couldn't sleep. But the, the cough that he had was awful. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I could hear it when he coughed. It didn't sound like anything else I ever heard from him before. Right now, Billy is in an induced coma, but Ross says he's making progress. He's stable. It's very, very slow, steady, progressing. Uh, but, but he... He, he seems to get, he get better uh, slowly, slowly but surely. Now Ross is sharing his son's story to remind younger people the virus doesn't discriminate. I think too many people think this is just affecting older people. And, and Billy is in the prime of his health. And he hopes it's a wake-up call to stay home and practice social distancing so no other parent will have to watch their child suffer from afar. Just a couple of weeks ago, people were thinking it wasn't real, it was a hoax. People weren't taking it seriously, and I want people to know it's very real, and it hurts. Ross says he thinks his son might have gotten the virus from a friend who stayed at his home. Ross says his friend, his son's friend rather, and his roommate have self-quarantined as a precaution, but don't have any symptoms. Jess, back to you. All right, thank you, Francesca. Ross says his son also doesn't have any underlying health conditions.